So, hello there. This is Malak, and welcome to episode one of season X. Because, <laughs> yeah, um, of my Let's Play Minecraft. It's a little strip down, feed the beast kind of thing. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be good. Um, you've probably seen the trailer, and if you haven't seen the trailer, then we'll just go and watch the trailer. Um, I didn't spend a massive amount of time on it, but, you know, it, it's nice to get people's feedback from the, the time that I put in. Um, ideas for this season. Well, there's a list of mods. It's a stripped-down mod pack, really. Um, I'm just going to explore it. If you're curious, then, yeah, have a little look. Um, and generally speaking, yeah, um, retirement in my little cottage has kind of gotten boring. Um... And yeah, let's, let's, I'm just going to wander off um, to like this village, which has, has been here a while. And um, I actually think that, that everyone's dead. Um, so, yeah, I should have probably looked after it a bit better. But to be honest, I wasn't really doing anything else. It's a tiny bit. I'm sure I'll find another one. Nom. Simple as that. There's, there's, there's nom for food. What? One of the curious things. Let me just rearrange these things because I've kind of wandered off. <laughs> Hopefully, fishing rod. Um, I've kind of wandered off into the wilderness with just the Bernie sword, which I need to upgrade, of course, and uh, and very little idea of what I'm actually going to go and do. But I'm going to wander around, have a little explore. And as you've seen, I've got a little mini-map, so, you know, I'm not going to get lost completely. Okay, let's check out the coast. You know what? I think I might collect some of these flowers. I've got these, like, mystical white flowers and various other strange things, which um, don't seem to actually drop at all. Oh, there we go. They just don't drop very often. So, yeah, got mystical white flowers, because why not? Now, I don't really know. Now, I've got uh, not enough items, so I could find out what they're used for. But for now, yes, the sword of bacon cooking. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like, fire aspect on a sword is so good for killing animals. It's scary, actually. Um... What I should probably do is get some supplies of wood uh, and start planning out where I'm going to move to. Because I'm not going to stay in the cottage forever. Or at the very least, well, I, I, could always, I could always demolish this little village and, and build something here. I should really... Or is it the big ones that don't produce? Yeah, it's the big ones that don't produce anything. Okay, let's leave the big ones alone. Maybe they spawn little ones. I don't know. I have no clue. Wild carrots. Well, well, okay then. I'm, I'm, I'm going to accept that. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a little bit of a village set up. There'll be no punching trees to to start off with. Thank goodness. I am going to go and. Um, Harvest the, uh, the, the glorious wheat because, well, you know, it's worth doing. And then I'm going to get some tools, get a pickaxe, get a few of the bits and bobs, and go off exploring. I'm going to collect samples and explore the world. And, and yeah, you, you, you like, I've, I've pulled out all the art from, um, and close, close, no? Do I have to have an empty hand for closing? Yeah, there we go. I love these little oak cases that you get with Bibliocraft. It's, it's amazing. Um, okay, let's just chuck all these flowers in here. These are sort of my organic samples chest. Uh, eh. Wow, I have got a lot of random stuff that I don't actually have the capacity to hold. I'm not complaining too much, in fairness. I mean, let's face it, 
it's useful to have crap. And yeah, I've got a lot of crap. It's just really from when I was building the place. You know, as you, you've you've sort of um, uh, sort of leftovers from DIY, I suppose. Okay, so I've got some basic tools. And the fishing rod can go. I'm gonna take the spade with me. Put the bowls in here. Eggs I can keep and just throw at people if I really want. Feathers will be useful for arrows. Let's get some sticks. Let's take a load of wooden planks. Do I have an axe in here? I don't think I do. I have a bow, a really crap bow. I could probably do with making a better bow. Some arrows. I'm going to get cobblestone. Inevitably over time. Some torches. So really, my supply of stuff is pretty good. Well, I think I'm going to bring the shears with me so I can collect wool if I find any sheep. This would be a fine plan, I feel. That's about it. I was going to lay like a rug down. I'd forgotten about that. I was going to lay a nice rug. Look at that. What a lovely rug. Right. There we go. I'm just going to put the look. Right there. there we go. Look at that. You see, I'm even decorating the place nicely. I think that's probably enough. Well, according to this, my I think it's still stuck to my spawn point. One like thing I like about some of these, though, is that you, you've got really nice... I mean, these apple trees are literally amazing. You get so many apples out of them. Just right click and and suddenly it's it's apples. Mm. I mean, look, it's like mm. permanent supply of food. You've got to jump around like an idiot, unless you put a ladder in there at some point for convenience. And obviously, you, you don't have to jump around so much like an idiot. You just climb around the trees like some kind of weird mm. oriental ninja. Anyway, so that's pretty much that. And myself six. It's not a bad dive. Now, one thing I definitely do want to do is around the back of here, there is a cave that I sealed off. Oh, yeah. And this, right? I have no clue, right? Um, now, I named it Mysterious Cat. But why is there a random domesticated cat in a cave behind my house? And it's never moved, and it's just been there, mewing incessantly. It's not tame. It doesn't follow me around. But it's like, surely it should be an ocelot, and it should be in a jungle? I mean, do, do normal cats spawn these days? Well, like, oh, more pickaxe. Let's just chuck that in there. Okay. Alright, I sealed this away, uh, mined a little bit of rock here, um, didn't do any exploring, oh, bloody hell, seriously. Weird, weird ass creepers, what the hell, ender fragments. Okay. What the hell? Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. Spooky. Now we do have coal, which is always useful. And we have this other weird stuff. The thing is, what I really need is iron, and I don't have any iron. 
Like, see, I've given myself a little bit of a start with various things. But one thing, you know what? One thing I should really do is, yeah, because I can hear zombies, is explore the area. Ooh! Um, hey. Well, it's a zombie spawn, and that's for certain. Hello, zombie spawner. I'm going to keep you. Lexica Botanica. Ooh, okay. Knowledge fragments. Black light is strong, strong magical vibes. Okay, yoink. Mundane belt. More music. Gunpowder wheat. Music. Another mundane belt. Okay, well, I'm not complaining about that. Just gonna put these torches just around so that it, it's illuminating the area nicely. Now you die now. Okay, I'm um, I'm 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 cool with that. Experience. I see experience orbs don't um, haven't been fixed fully with the latest version. <laughs> they still hover around, wanting to. Uh, Wanting to do something, I have no idea. Ooh. Yeah. So basically, a dead end with some. Oh, that's a quick dig, so. Yeah, it's got a shot. So we have weird stuff. Now, obviously, some of you will be fully aware that there is Thorncraft in this, um... Oh, it looks like whatever that was. I, it said the name, didn't take note. Whatever that was needs iron. Making sure that I'm not completely stuck if something comes along that's mean. Well, I've got plenty of iron for now. Not much else. Do making more torches before I go any further. Contains one school of knowledge, Minecraftian knowledge, the Lexica Botanica, 100, 201st edition. One school of knowledge. I have no idea what that is. I have very little, no, <laughs> anything other than the basic Minecraft stuff, I actually have no idea what it does. This is, um,. This is the state I'm in. I, I just don't know. Okay, I'm not going to dead end myself anymore. I'm going to explore the other path down here. Um, before I end up getting mutilated by zombies. Uh... I'm going to make some more torches. Okay, that's that's possibly enough torches. Oh, here we go. What is it? Amber. That's the thing that needed the iron pickaxe that, that dug quickly with a stone pickaxe anyway. So it, was like it, it fooled me into thinking that it was an easy dig. So whatever amber is used for, be interesting. That's actually a hell of a lot of it. So whatever it's used for, you need a lot, or it's not very good. <laughs> um, wheat grass. Okay. Okay. 
minus delight. Um, why would a miner delight at that thing? Well, you're kidding me. That's this is the cave. Okay. Well, miner's delight gets dropped. Um, you never know what might be useful. String for a bow. Okay, dirt. Dirt's the least likely to be of any use. Miner's delight. Don't know yet. Oh. Just in case it regrows, I'm going to leave one behind. This cave is boring. What I've basically got out of this is a lot of coal. And some random stuff out of the dungeon. Just don't get me wrong, useful and all that. But I was hoping for a little bit more <sighs> excitement, maybe? I, I don't know. Come on, give me some excitement. No, that does not mean have a creeper blow me up now. That would be less exciting, more really annoying. So, as some of you all have noticed, Definitely got Thorncraft installed. Okay, there's a massive amount of coal here. So I'm going to be totally delving into the whole Thorncraft stuff. Because, you know, why the hell not? It's magical. It's cool. Now, I've, I've delved into it a little bit before. Um, but, not... Um, not not much, uh, because there were just too many mods. And this is part of my motivation for having a very light number of mods. Oh, fuck. Oh, hello, witchy. Holy crap. The hell? Is that like some sort of crazy ass? Why the... F what the hell? Literally, that was it? That was that was exciting. I'll, I'll agree. That was exciting. Um... The witch literally threw a wither potion or something at me. I mean, what the shit? Okay. You're just gonna die. Somehow. How the hell do I kill that? That that was um That was that was rough. Okay, let's let's put all that back in there. That that was very rough. You gotta admit that. A bit rough. Well, at least it's telling me where I died. That's a good thing. I don't like the looks of these guys. Okay, that was weird. The f what the f fuck? Um. Right, okay. I'm like somewhere else now. I was a little bit far away, nothing special. So. <sighs> I don't like this. So basically, what we're saying is the end of which I well, just decided, fuck it. Seriously. Okay, well. You know what? I'm just getting out of here. I've got my stuff back. <laughs> oh, first death, first bloody episode. Seriously? Although, then, then again, to be fair, witches are pretty tough to begin with, and she had that bloody great cat with her. Honestly, that was a little bit rough. I'm, I'm cool. Let's kill the slime. You know what? I ain't got the space for anything. Okay. Um, not 100% sure how to get rid of the um, death marker, but I'll figure it out. I've got so much junk now. What I'm going to do eventually is I am going to move to another place. Going to set myself up, new place, you know, 
Dig a load of stone, build a nice little home. Hello. Um. I'm fine. What did I put in here? Put a load of random stuff in here. Well, weird random stuff. So, the first thing I need to do is have a think about what I am going to do as far as organization goes. Because what I need to do is spread out. Start exploring the different mods. Um, got random skull, scully. But I need iron. I remember that much. To make the wand that you... Uh, that you use for Thorncraft, you uh, you definitely definitely need a wand, and for that you need iron. So more exploration is required. There's just so much junk now. Well, we can't say that I didn't. Uh, you know, give it a go. You know what? I'm going to head out again, but in a different direction. See if I can find another cave. I think it's J, J for the journey map. Here it is. Right click. Single click, no. Um waypoints. Remove. There we go. Aha. So, that's sorted. Um I am probably just gonna add one little waypoint to my home. Right here. New name. Home, and I'm gonna make it kind of a red color, cause you know, red mage and all that. Yeah, they're like my cows that are, um, are actually tied to that, but for whatever reason, are preferring to just swim and. Be derpy. Unless they've like escaped from their ropes. I don't think they have. Oh, could be wrong. Um, I'm gonna go off and explore. I'm gonna travel the land. Um, and I could always let's have a little, little look. Can't believe I died first episode. Ambushed in a tunnel by a witch that throws wither potions. I mean, for goodness sakes, and has like a giant cat. Oh, I could turn this into a mini Thumbcraft little laboratory. I mean, it's not huge. I'll need to expand eventually, but yeah, this is not bad. This is not bad. Um, that's basically nothing there. Tiny little hut here, nothing special. So if I dis disassemble those other buildings, um, turn this into a Thumbcraft lab, and I'm pretty much done. I'm liking this. Okay, but that's going to be next episode, episode two. Um, so really, until then, I will bid you all farewell, and of course, cheerio.